Okay, Pre-AP, um, so this is our next video and we're still in gas. And so we just did the combined gas law and Gay-Lussac's. So this video is Avogadro's law and then also um, Dalton's law. And so Avogadro's law, the name should sound familiar, um, Avogadro's number. Um, but that being said, it doesn't have anything to do with 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Um, we are gonna talk about moles though um, and their relationship with gas. And so <clears throat> this one is stating that um, whenever you have your pressure and your temperature held constant, so in your notes where it says factors held constant, that would be pressure and temperature. So when pressure and temperature are held constant, the volume of the gas is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas. Um, <clears throat> and so hopefully you can think about this with some of your experiences. Um, so <clears throat> whenever you're a little kid, you like blow bubbles you know, outside and all that stuff. So the more air you can get into the bubble, the bigger the bubble is. Um, it's a lot more fun that way, right? When you're a little kid, you wanna to try to get the biggest bubble. And how you do that is by making sure that there's more air in there. And so sometimes you may try to like blow slower so that way it, it gets bigger, whatever. Um, but the air that you're breathing in is moles into that. And then the volume is bigger with the more air, the more moles, and the volume gets smaller with the less moles. <clears throat> um, and the temperature is held constant because as you're blowing all these bubbles, the temperature outside's not changing and your pressure's not changing because you're not going up or down in elevation. So there's just one example kind of, or if you're like chewing bubble gum, um, same concept. So that being said, you've already kind of had firsthand experience of this relation, or yeah, of this relationship. Um, and so we have this formula, V1, V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. And so we're gonna use that. So there's two example problems we're gonna work. So it says in your notes, following along, if I have 0.214 moles of argon gas occupies a volume of 652 milliliters at a particular temperature and pressure, what volume would 0.375 moles of argon have under the same conditions? So that means that we're not changing temperature, we're not changing pressure. When it says same conditions, we mean the same stuff from above. We're just adding now more moles. So we went from 0.214 moles to 0.375 moles. So what will be the volume? So whenever you're looking at this problem <coughs> or any problem like this, we have to identify our variables. And so N stands for moles. So it tells us that we have 0.214 moles. And it tells us our volume. Remember, volume always has to be in liters for gas every time. And so we have 652 milliliters which is equal to um, 0 0.652 liters, okay? And then we have our N2, it tells us that we increase it to 0 0.375 moles, and we're looking for our new volume. Okay, so you should look at the example problem in your notes and make sure that you understand how I get all of this information, <laughs> okay? And so then we're gonna plug it in over here, and so then I'm gonna take my 0 0.652, whoops, 652, and divide it by my 0 0.214, and it's going to be equal to V2, which is what we're solving for, over 0 0.375. Okay, and so as we're doing this, um, we are going to plug in and solve. So it's just math, and I'm making sure I got all my numbers right. I did. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide. So I'm gonna take this and divide this. And so when I do that, so I take it in my calculator, put 6.652, then I hit divide and I do 0.214. And I'm getting 3.05 roughly. So 3.05 is equal to V2 over 0 0.375. I wanna get V by itself. So to undo division, I'm gonna multiply. Whatever I do to one side, I do the other. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by 375. Because when I do that, 0 0.375, because when I do that, this cancels. So I get V2 is equal to roughly, and so when we do this times 375, um, 1.14, and that would be liters, 1.14 liters, okay? And so that's how we work that problem. So it's, it's just a plug and chud, but then the algebra part. So to make sure you understand the algebra part, there it is right there for you. Um, so you can pause, rewind this as much as you need to. There is a second example. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this stuff, and then I'm gonna erase this, but we'll leave our variables and our equation up there. So the second example in your notes says, 
um, a 22 or a 22, a 12.2 liter container holds oxygen gas at STP. If all of the oxygen is converted to O3, so that's ozone, under the same conditions, what will be the volume of the O3 formed? And so we have 12.2 liters um, of a gas. And so we first have to plug in and solve for moles um, using stoichiometry. So, um, because it's 12.2 liters of a gas. Um, and so if you remember, we're at STP. So at STP, 22.4 liters equals one mole, okay? So we have to first use some stoichiometry to figure out how much, um, how many moles we have. And then we have to use stoichiometry to figure out how many moles of ozone we have. Um, and so then we need to figure out, and then we'd plug in for the volume. <laughs> so this one's a harder one, a two-step problem, which is why it's the example number two. And we're not going to get to Dalton's law of pressure, partial pressures, because I'm already at six minutes. Um, but that being said, I'll just do another video. So we have first, we'll come over here. And so we have our equation, which is 3O2 goes to 2O3. Okay? And so then this is a stoichiometry problem. It tells us that we have 12.2 liters of O2. Okay? So also that 12.2 liters will be our volume one. Okay? It's going to be our volume one. But we need to now solve for moles. So now I want to solve for moles of O2. So then I'm going to plug in. So I'm going to start with my given. Now then, if I remember, I have the conversion factor, 22.4 liters of a gas equals one mole. So remember, gas is different. <clears throat> and so I'm going to use that to plug in and get units to cancel. So 22.4 liters down below, one mole up top, liters cancel liters. <clears throat> and then I have solved for moles, which I can eyeball that and tell you it's going to be 0 0.5. Yeah, because that's exactly half. No, that's not exactly half. Look at me. I can eyeball it. Psych. I can't. Um, <laughs> you'd think I'd remember these things, but pregnancy brain. 22.4 equals 5.45. 5.45. So almost half. 5.45. Okay? So that's my moles. So that's going to be my N1 right here. 0 0.545. Okay? because I solve for moles of O2. So this is volume of O2, moles of O2. Volume of O2, I solve for moles of O2. Great. Okay, well, now then, it's asking me for liters. So if I know how many moles, I can use stoichiometry to figure out moles of this. And so I can set up the same stoichiometry problem, but this time I'm gonna do moles of O3. So I still start with my given. I still want to convert to moles, so I do the 22.4 liters, and that's one mole of O2, okay? But now I want to convert, I want to switch, so I need my mole to mole ratio. That is a three to two ratio, okay? O2 needs to go on bottom to get units to cancel. It's gonna be three moles of O2 to two moles of O3, okay? So moles of O2 cancel. And then that gets me my next set of moles. Um, and so that would be my N2. And then I come over here and plug in. So my moles of N2, if I take 20, 12.2 divided by 22.4. And then I multiply by 2. And I divide by 3. I get my moles over here to be, just making sure I write everything down right. 0.363 moles. So I first had to use stoichiometry to solve for all this stuff, but now that I have, I can plug in and solve. And you would plug in and solve the exact same way that we did the last problem. Okay? And so I would take my 12.2 over my 0 0.545 equals, and then I have my 0 0.363, and then I'm solving for V2. So then I first divide, and then I'm going to multiply. First divide, and then multiply. So 12.2 divided by 0.545 times 0.363, 
equals 8.13. Okay, and that's liters. So hopefully that's making sense and I'm at 10 minutes, dang.